Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie. I'm the owner and creator here at Susie on the Farm. I have a vintage booth and I love to go thrift store shopping and upcycle the items that I find to sell in my booth. And I love to show you guys how I do that on this channel. If that's the kind of content you enjoy, I would love it if you would subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Today's video is going to be a thrift flip video, so let's go ahead and get started. So I found this urn long time ago. I've had it a while, and I thought it would be a perfect upcycle for fall. That's right, we're going to be doing some fall upcycles today. Um, so I have mixed their Chateau paint by Fusion and a little bit of the Fresco texturing powder. I want to give this a real aged antique look. Chateau is my favorite off-white color, and I'm using my Stallmaster um, pointed sash. It's perfect for getting in all these little details of this urn. And y'all look at the color of this Chateau. It is my favorite off-white color. If you have not tried it, you need to get your hands on some and look at all that gorgeous texture that the Fresco powder creates with it. This is after two coats and now we're going to give it some little bit of aging wax. A lot of times on my channel, you guys see me trying something for the very first time and this is it also. I have never used this aging wax before, so I'm just going to do that top part just to see how I like it. And guess what? Just like all the other Fusion products, I love this one as well. It gives this urn such an old, old world kind of look, kind of like a, I just love the way it makes this look. So I'm just going to put a little bit all over it, and then I'm going to take a dry paper towel and wipe a lot of it back. And then the rest of that wax will lay down in those cracks and crevices and kind of stay there and give this such a great look. Then we are going to do some fall floral. I have pulled out all my tubs of fall, I can't speak, fall floral. And we are going to fix up several projects with a bunch of floral this video. So after I finish the urn, I'm going to take a couple of picks. Actually, I just got these picks from Walmart. I'm going to put just a little bit of floral foam in, packing it in tight. I don't want to glue it in just in case someone wants to remove this and replace it later on, or if I want to remove it and replace it later on. So I've got some floral foam in there, and then I'm going to take these two fall picks that I picked up at Walmart. Looks like they were $2.98 each. And I don't ever just stuff things in there. I mean, sometimes I do, but if I'm really making an arrangement, I'm going to cut all the pieces out and arrange it um, how I want it. I try to put, you know, a good mixture of taller and shorter things in there. So I'm just going to cut these two picks apart and then arrange them in this urn. Um, until it gets the look that I like, and I kind of had this off camera just a little bit, so I'm sorry about that, but you guys get the idea. You just want to make sure that your floral foam's not showing, so I go in the sides and up the top, and I really like how this turned out, and I absolutely love the Chateau color with the antiquing wax over it. Look at all that beautiful texture. What do you guys think about this fall floral arrangement? The next project's a very simple project. I picked up this really pretty fall scene, and I really love the print in it, and I like the shape of the frame, but as you can see, the frame is not in great shape, and it's got a tint to it that I really don't like. We're going to do the same thing with this frame. Simple, easy thrift flip. If you find a picture that you like and you don't like the frame, you can always paint the frame. I, again, am using the pointed sash brush. I'm going to leave um, that little gold rim around the inside, and the pointed sash is absolutely perfect for details and it gets right up against that without painting on it. 
That's what I love about this paintbrush. So I'm gonna give this frame two coats of the Chateau, and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come back with the aging wax and just um, go over the frame lightly. So if you're a reseller, don't forget about these pretty prints that you find at the thrift store for next to nothing. I sell these all the time. All I do is paint the frames, clean them up. I may have paid $2 for this and I'll put $15.99 on it. And like I said, I sell these all the time. So I got this little basket at the Goodwill bins. It had this ugly bow on it and the worst floral you've ever seen that I've already pulled out and thrown in the garbage. Um, this is gonna be an easy flip too. I'm gonna stick a little burlap down in here just so you can't see through the straw or twine or whatever that is. And just a tiny bit of floral foam to give the floral picks something to stick in. Um, this is just a bunch of random florals that I got out that were kind of um, in the same color palette. So I'm just going to arrange them in this little basket pocket. I try to keep the larger, taller ones in the back and then fill in the others in the front. This was a super easy little floral uh, arrangement. And now I'm going to be honest with y'all, I am not a bow maker at all. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to do just a messy little bow here just to pick on the front of it. I've pulled out a bunch of ribbon that were kind of in the same color palette as the florals. I don't really, some of these I'm not crazy about, but because I'm not a bow maker, I really don't have a lot of great ribbons. I need to replenish my ribbon stash just a little bit, but I think this one turned out okay in the end. Y'all let me know what you think. So I'm just gonna cut two of each of the um, ribbons and arrange them here together and then bunch them all up, tie some twine around them and spread them out. And once I did all that, I realized it just didn't look right and I was really about to turn the camera, I did turn the camera off and was just about to start all over, go a different route or something. And I realized what I had done wrong um, I also have a little bit of corn husk here, and I thought that would be a cute fall touch on this bow. Um, but anyway, I realized that I had not dovetailed any of the ends. It would have been much easier to do that before um, I tied it all together here. But off camera, I did end up dovetailing all the ends of these ribbons so it would look a little bit better. And then just to give it a little extra detail, uh, anytime I have extra resin made up from stuff, I'll go ahead and pour it in a mold and then I just stick them in a container. So I have lots of little resin molds already made up. And this came from IOD Lock and Key Mold. And this is just the 10 minute resin, it dries white. And I'm just gonna hot glue these right on this bow and let the little key hang from the back and then glue them right onto our hanging basket. And I really love how this bow turned out. It goes perfectly with all the floral. So I'm really glad I didn't chunk it and start over. I do believe I might have to be keeping this for myself. I love this color combination and all these fall florals. This was a yard sale find. Um, it's Hobby Lobby. It's never even been hung. 
Um, we're going to use this as a frame and do some decoupaging on it. I just wasn't crazy about the cactus. Um, this is Stacked Heirloom Pumpkins. It is from the new Roy Cycled release. There are two different pumpkins. We'll see the other one in just a bit. But this one has large stacked pumpkins and several smaller ones and a few little floral. Um, this one fits perfectly in this frame, so that is the one we are going to use. Um, but first, we are going to paint our background white. Um, we need to cover all those words. We don't want them showing through our decoupage paper. So I'm going to give it two coats of Victorian lace. It's a bright white color just to cover up the cactus and the words. And then we're going to decoupage that gorgeous pumpkin on to this frame and this will be another easy fall flip that will be a great seller in the booth so i've cut out the pumpkin and pretty close around the florals and i am using fusion transfer gel it's um, a really good medium for decoupaging so I just started with a starter strip and then I am going to work the paper down trying to smooth out any wrinkles as I go. I like to use a foam brush um, but any kind of brush uh, will work. You just want something that's kind of soft so you don't tear your paper. And then once I get that starter strip going I did get a little bit of the gel on the frame, so I wiped that off while it was good and wet. And then we're just gonna continue and we are going to decoupage the entire pumpkin on there doing stri small strips at a time. And I did forget to wet that first strip. If you'll wet the back of your decoupage paper, it just is easier to get the wrinkles out, especially with a larger piece like this. So I just dampen the back of the decoupage paper before laying it down. Once I got the pumpkin all down, I did feel like it needed a little bit of something, and it has all those cute little florals, so I cut out several, a couple of the little florals just real close to the pattern and layered them right over the top of the pumpkin. You can layer your decoupage papers, too. Um, I just wanted a little bit more on the bottom of these, so I just did three little flowers, and then we're done with this piece of art, and I can't wait to get this in the booth. You can also, if you want to create something like this, you can find these decoupage papers on my website, susieonthefarm.com. I try to get them out shipped really fast. Um, sometimes I'm not able to ship next day, but most of the time I am. We're going to do one more quick fall flip. This is just a Dollar Tree bucket. I've had it a long time. I think I actually used to have a plant in it, but we are going to decoupage another pumpkin on this. This is the other pumpkin paper. This is the heirloom pumpkins. It's got another little stack of pumpkins, some bigger pumpkins you can stack, and then just some smaller pumpkins and tons of cute fall florals that Lexi Grenzer has, um, the artist has made up for us. For this little bucket, I am going to um, give this a coat of green chalk paint. Um, this is DIY in the color, oh, it's the one I painted the um, Hoosier cabinet with, but I cannot remember the color. I'll put it on the screen here in just a second, but I'm going to give it a couple of coats of this chalk paint. I really wanted a really matte look, and I love this green color. Once the paint has dried, 
Um, we are going to decoupage a little pumpkin on there. There's one that fits pretty good, and it's a white one, so it'll look really good on this green. But we also do want like a white background. It just makes your papers pop a lot, the colors in them. And I saw someone else do this. Before you cut it out, just take some white paint and paint the back of your decoupage paper. And I thought that's such a cool idea. That's easier than trying to cut it out and then paint it. Um, so that's what I did. I just uh, did a coat of white paint on the back of this pumpkin here, let it dry, and now we're gonna cut it really close to the pumpkin. Um, you don't want a lot of the white around it showing, um, so you need to get in really close, and then we're just gonna decoupage it right onto this bucket the same way. So once I got the pumpkin placed where I wanted it to go, I just took my decoupage gel and did it right on the bucket, about the same size as the pumpkin, stuck it on, and then did another layer over the top of it. I let that dry, and then I did seal the entire bucket since this is out of a clay-based paint. Um, it can be reactivated with um touching it or water. So you always need to seal your clay base paint. And then this little bucket is done. I think it turned out so cute and is perfect for just uh, sticking some floral or a little pumpkin in. hope that y'all have enjoyed this week's video. I'm about to do a fall reset on my booth, so we are going to get into the fall upcycles, and I'll see you guys again next week. Thanks for watching.